once Big Ten play starts, you got a slugfest on your hand. Going on the road to Big Ten is as hard as anything in college basketball. The Big Ten is the best conference in America. We want to win the Big Ten all right. That's what we plan on doing. It's great if you're in a position where you can make a few phone calls and the top 10 players come to visit your school. We weren't at that place when I got here. So we had to find players that could play against those guys and figure out how to beat them. And that's why I'm so proud of Aaron. When you say uh, you can't judge a book by its cover, it probably relates to me. I'm athletic, but I don't look athletic, so I kind of don't fit the mold of a, a typical college athlete that grew up watching college basketball. I really wanted to play at the highest level possible. I thought I was good enough to play at this level. And it never really happened for me. Coach McCaffrey, he realized that you know I had the talent to play at this level. Go on the road to Wisconsin, play Ohio State, you play Michigan State, you play Michigan, all schools that you know I would have liked to gotten recruited from didn't really show any interest. So you know in the back of my mind, uh, I'm getting shots up late at night, I'm coming in, getting extra work in to try and show those guys that you missed out. Early on, I set kind of a regimen and I, I stayed disciplined to it uh, to really get in here and try to be the hardest worker, not only on my team, but you know around the country. My freshman year, one night, you know, I was here by myself. It was a little later than, than usual, you know, 11, 11.30. Came up here, got my shots up, went back down. It might have been 12.15, 12.30, and you know, the keypad to get back in the locker room is locked. Well, I was kind of surprised because I'm pretty sure you can get out of the building. It, but it was, a, it was a culmination of things. It was pouring rain, the cell phone died. He was in here past midnight, the building locks down. All I have is a pair of shorts and a cut off t-shirt. I didn't know what to do because I didn't want to you know, walk all the way back to the dorms when it's freezing cold and raining outside. So you know, I looked for a comfortable place to lay my head and ended up sleeping in the visitor's locker room. We kind of laugh about it now, but that's just kind of how he goes about his business. I try to outwork other guys because you know, I realize I'm not the most gifted athlete, I'm not the best shooter, but you, know, you can outwork your opponents and that's what I try and do, that's what I hang my head on. Gary Harris, a rival of mine now, but uh, definitely I look at him too as a big brother. I've known him since I was nine years old. Even though he is a sophomore this year and I'm a freshman, I'm, I'm nine days older than him, so I always pick with him about that. Zach always messes with me because I always call him little bro, but he always comes to me for some advice. In high school, and he says I don't give good advice, but I mean, he still comes to me for advice all the time, so that's why I always say I call him my little brother. I would say a story that describes our friendship would just be high school. I mean, we had a lot of good times in high school, and then we ended up going to two rival schools, so it's gonna be my first time actually playing against him. You know, he actually committed before me, and we would mess around, like, what if I went to Michigan State and I go to Michigan, we're gonna be rivals. Funny thing is, it ended up happening, and we had little bets we made in high school after we both decided our schools, you know, it was fun, and now it's gonna be surreal once we really finally play against each other. Green, three to shoot, two, a leader, no, Michigan, they yeah. win it by one! In high school, Gary and I made a bet and the bet was that if Michigan State won, I had to wear a Michigan State shirt to school the next day. And if Michigan won, he had to wear a Michigan shirt. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure you, I knew he was going to bring that one up. Michigan won, so I had to hold up my end of the deal and I had to wear a Maze Ray shirt to school. So I took a picture of him at school in the Michigan shirt and it got all over the internet. So that was pretty funny. I don't even know how I'm going to react. I mean, it's not, we, we haven't been through this before, you know. I mean, our dreams of playing college basketball, and now we're finally playing it. All rival teams playing against each other, you know. It's, uh, it doesn't happen too often, so it's pretty cool. It's going to be fun to see how it plays out. Basketball is Aaron's first love growing up. I was just kind of that nagging little sister who always wanted to be a part of things. Kate just seemed like the one that was always kind of just hanging around. She was never the girl that wanted to do typical girl things, you know, play with dolls, those things like that. She always wanted to be active. She wanted to be out there playing with the boys. 
All right, Katie Kraft has joined us. Everything's a competition between Aaron and I, whether it's a shooting game. Dribbling around the block. How fast we can eat something. Tying your shoes. Doing a Rubik's Cube. I did that first. Um, she's angry about that. I actually asked for a Rubik's Cube for my birthday one year for some reason, and Aaron stole it from me. I learned first, and then I taught her. Aaron was kind of rude about it. I would forget the previous steps, and Aaron would just, you know, huff and puff at me and tell me, like, why don't you remember? We both wanted to do it, and I beat her to it. A lot of my success on the court, I'm gonna give credit to Aaron for. We grew up in the gym together, and that's where we really established our bond. If I wanted to go in and shoot, she was always there. Sometimes we'd go to the gym, shoot for half an hour, and, and talk for 45. Just really enjoying each other's company. In high school, she had a lot of success. She actually has a state championship. There was still a part of me that, you know, that was, that was a little jealous of the fact that she's playing here in the shot for the state championship. But now I'm very proud of her. She always has that gold medal over me. It's a dream, I think, for everybody growing up in Ohio. You know, this is where you want to play. This is where you want to be. Aaron left, and I was really sad about it. Everything that I was doing with Aaron, I now had to do by myself. I was honestly lost. None of us really thought that the time would come that we could go to school together again and relive some old times.